Hey guys, I just wanted to take the next few moments to talk to you about this really cool hair tinsel product. So we have 13 different colors of hair tinsel here. They're all protected in these nice little plastic packaging. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you each of these colors. So look, we have this nice royal blue, this gold color of red and green. Um, and this green are actually is not only just green, we have multicolors in here. So this one's really, really fun. Um, I really do like the multicolored look. And these are super long, so even if you have really long hair, you can still use this. Or you can cut it to fit your hair, which is something that I think is really neat. So here we have our bright blue. I really like the bright blue. Bright pink. Here's another multicolored one. It's pretty fun. And a just plain gold. It's like a darker gold. And then we have, last but not least, in our other packet. Let's take the rubber bands off. We have a lighter pink color. We have a silver, another gold, and then this pretty purple. I really like this purple one a lot. I also really like this one, so I'll probably show you guys this one. Um, so I'm going to put these to the side. I'll just leave them over here and show you the rest of the materials. So this comes with a nice little pair of clamp pliers, and this is going to um, give you the strength that you need to clip on these little beads. Um, so this gives you tons and tons of beads, and I think you can even reuse them probably. Um, it also comes with a little threader as well. So I'm going to explain to you how to put this on your hair, and then I will attempt to do it myself to show you. It's not very hard. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to take a few pieces of this tinsel, and you're going to attach it to four or five strands of hair. So not like a huge clump, um, but four or five strands. Before you do that, you're going to slide one of these little beads onto your little bead threader. So I will show you that. So look how small the beads are. They're very, very small, um, and they're easily squished with the clamp, um, and that's what's gonna hold the tinsel onto your hair. So here's our bead threader here. I'm just gonna go ahead and slip the bead right onto the little needle, and I'm gonna put this off to the side. Um, so you want a few strands of um, your tinsel. You don't want like the whole entire thing because then it won't blend in naturally. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it out. And hopefully I can slide this out without ruining the little container that it's in. Um, but it's possible I will, oh, okay. I just don't want this to like take some of the tinsel off. Okay, let's see, there we go. So that, that worked out pretty well. So here we go. There's our strands of tinsel. You can see this actually already looks like natural and hair-like. Um, so this is gonna look really good um, on your hair. So I'm gonna, Go ahead and take this off of the plastic. It is held together um, by a little, um, like a little tie. Um, and so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of like flatten it out. And I'm gonna take a little bit, not a lot. I'm just gonna take a few strands so I can just slide them right out while keeping all this intact. Um, so this is really great. Um, so what I'm going to do while I show you this, I'm going to put back some of my hair. So I'm not going to stick it right on top because then you can see the bead, um, but I'm going to stick it underneath. So I'm going to probably try to stick it like over here. I'm going to move my hair back out of the way. If I can get it as far out of the way as possible, that would be great. Then I'm able to show you this a little easier. There we go. So I'm going to try to stick it like right here. So I'm going to grab just a few strands of hair. I'm also going to grab um, the tinsel as well. The tinsel that I set aside for this. Here we go. I might have even grabbed too much tinsel. I might just do like, okay, there we go. So I'm going to grab the tinsel I set aside. I am going to um, put it in the threader. And then I'm going to do the same thing with my hair. So I'm going to go ahead and slip it in here. I'm going to do the same thing um, with about three or four strands of my own hair. I'm also going to slip it into the threader. So I'm just going to grab a little bit. Maybe we'll do a little bit less than this. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and slip this in the threader as well. Um, 
So you can totally do this by yourself. It might be a little easier to have somebody helping you if you're not like an expert at doing hair, which I'm not, um, but it's okay. It's all going to work out. There we go. It's a little difficult when you're trying to watch yourself do this on camera, so. Okay, so now that I have my hair in the threader as well as the tinsel in the threader, I'm gonna go ahead and slide my bead on. So I'm gonna take this all the way to the top like this. I'm gonna get my clamp ready too. I'm gonna slide my bead off of my threader and onto my hair. I'm gonna pull it through. There we go. And now I can slide this bead up all the way. And I'm gonna use my little clamp to clamp it onto my hair. So this is just gonna flatten the bead out. It's very easy to clamp. There we go. And so now I have clamped several strands of this really cute pink tinsel to my hair. And all that's left to do is to just go ahead and trim it to the length of your hair. So I have some scissors with me. I'm gonna go ahead and trim it a little bit. Some of it's already kind of short. I wanna make sure I'm not actually trimming my actual hair. Here we go, Let's trim this one, tinsel, and this one's a little long too, I'm going to trim it, if I can find it, there we go, so look, super cute, I have my nice little sparkles in my hair. Um, and one great thing about this product is actually um, it can withstand heat as well if you wanted to curl it or straighten it just like you would with your normal hair. So I'll just show you that by um, using my little curling iron here um, to kind of give my hair some texture and waves. And the one thing that I really love about this tinsel is how much it actually blends in with my real natural hair. Um, so it almost just looks like little strands of hair itself. It's very light and um, very, very cute. And the thing is, um, so this can last a couple days as and maybe even up to like a week or so. And you can barely even see the little... Um, the little bead that I have here. And then um, when I put down the rest of my hair, I might I might add a couple more. Um, and you won't even be able to see it. It's gonna look all natural. So um, this is a super cute little way to add some sparkle and shine to your hair all naturally. Um, you don't have to worry about it causing any sort of damage to your hair. Um, it'll last for a decently long period of time. And then you also don't have to worry, like I mentioned, about causing damage, or it's not permanent either. So if you wanted to do something fun, kind of switch up your style of your hair, um, this is the perfect way to do it um, without worrying about it being too much for work or too expensive. Um, this is fun for the whole family, so your kids might like this as well, and it's really easy to do. So I hope that you guys found this review helpful. I hope that you enjoy it, and I hope you have some fun changing up your hairstyle.